Robocop Rogue City is a broken, glitchy, sometimes ugly game. And my god, it is one of the best games of 2023. I may have rose tinted glasses on for this, as Robocop is one of my favorite movies. But the fact cannot be denied that this is the best use of the license since the old 80s side scrollers. Also helps that the game includes some of the actual actors from the first two Robocop movies. Not going too far into it, the game is set after Robocop 2. Nuke is still the street drug of choice. Kane is dead. OCP is on thin ice with all the frivolous spending they've done for Delta City. A new wannabe Kingpin is in town now, and they decided to name him the new guy. So, every time this moniker was used, I had to laugh. Could have come up with anything better? But I don't think about it, it's pretty much the 80s action movie script written for a video game in 2023. New guy is spot on for what I expect for an overtop action movie featuring Robot Jesus. Likewise, there's two new gangs in war with the old Detroit's police force. The Torchheads, which is pretty much just run by Doink the Clown, who gets horny for fire and shitty punk metal. And then the stereotypical Hell's Angels wannabes named the Street Vultures, which is run by an Ox Baker impersonator named Spike. That's a fucking reference if I've ever heard one. With these gangs in play, the new guy in town, Robo Jesus, is called in to do what he does best. Blowing away all the criminal scum with one bullet at a time. Or, in some cases, an entire magazine evens everything out. The gameplay feels sluggish, slow, and it's not fluid in the sense that you don't have Robo jumping over things or clinging the cover. That's because he doesn't do that. Robocop can't jump. That jetpack in the third movie doesn't count, because that movie doesn't exist. He doesn't stand behind walls, and will stand out in the open and get shot a million times. Why does he do this? Because he's goddamn Robocop. Now you leave. Bitches, come! Let me reiterate. This game doesn't expect you to use cover as you're a giant walking tank. There's hall packs and a recovery system to compensate, but let's be honest. It's the best feeling breaching a building, shooting every criminal slime ball, turning him into a giant red mist cloud while getting shot at. Because again, you are goddamn Robocop. Music spot on is uh, f spot on for media as well. The Robocop theme plays in the menu, which the entire time I was singing, he is a robot. He is a cop. He is a robo-cop. And then in the big action scenes, they're accompanied by the most 80s orchestral score made in the 2023-2020s. There are some downsides, though. And the game is a bit glitchy and buggy. There are times a robo would snap to another position, and the game wouldn't allow me to move the camera or aim until I did some finagling. Eventually it worked out, but until then, you're just a sitting duck and shot at. Then there's times when you pick up slime bags to throw them against the wall. They'll sometimes clip out of the void and you won't get any of the precious XP that you need. Yeah, there's XP system that has a level up and attached to it. It doesn't take away from the game, you complete it without relying on the upgrades, but it's there. Other times when strolling through the streets of old Detroit, events will trigger re-trigger for no reason, but you can't complete them if you've already completed them. There was a time where you, I was walking down the street and I solved a murder mystery. Five minutes later, oh hey, I need you to help figure out this murder mystery. I I just did that, Kowalski. I, I don't need to do it again. No, overall, the negatives don't really impact the point of the game to unpl being unplayable, but they are present enough so that the most nitpicky of game players will get butthurt if I don't bring them up. So smile. And while the game is running on Unreal 5, and the environments are beautiful at times, the character models can be kind of freakish. Mainly the children. They have weird adult faces sometimes, especially the teenagers. There was one instance when I was looking at a teenager who looked like he was old enough to have an autographed Bible. By normal Jesus, not, not Rebel Jesus. Overall, despite some flaws, Robocop's third outing, third movie doesn't exist, is a great experience, and I'd honestly have to rate it 8 dick shots out of 10.